Hi everyone, Lori Satushak here, and it is January 2023. Happy New Year to all of you. Um, this, the word for this past year, 2022, um, if we could just sum it up to one word, would be inflation. Um, inflation hit um, all of us really hard in all walks of our life, especially when we went to the grocery store and we went to buy gas. But what I'm here to talk about today is inflation and how it changed the housing market. It was massive, it was massive. If we think back to um, January a year ago, interest rates were right around 3%. Um, home prices from the year before had been going up 20% um, the previous two years since COVID. So home prices were out of control, but interest rates were low. Come March, 2022 interest rates raised to 5%. So that was a massive change. That was the beginning of the shift in my opinion. I told my team we're going to the housing market is going to change big time. Typically takes 6 months when um, you go through a shift and really nobody knows until after it happens. But um, March was a big change in June was the major change because in June we are three months into the shift and interest rates went up again to 6%. At that time, inflation was out of control at 9.1% and the feds announced that's it. They are going to get a handle on inflation and they are going to continue to increase interest rates until they get it under control. The feds kept their promise and interest rates went up even higher. But by June, okay, this is what was happening in Bellingham. In, in Bellingham in June, we were at the height of our market and the median priced home in Bellingham was 765,000, crazy. So, um, and now interest rates were over 6%. So the buyers just put on the brakes. They said, that's it and slow and the housing market came to a slow uh, you know slow down a lot so um come the end of the year um now that medium priced home in bellingham it kind of looks like if you look at stats over the last year it looks like home prices and medium pr prices in bellingham for example went up 6.5 percent well in some ways yes if you look in a year, um, a year out, they did go up 6.5%. But if the year, if you look at reality, if you look at the past, um, from June down to March to December, so if you only look at a six month window, home prices decreased. It went from the median price went from 765 down a hundred thousand from there down to, you know, mid sixes. So, um, basically what is happening right now, it's January. Interest rates are seven point today, seven point three, seven point three eight percent. Crazy. So it's cost buyers fifty percent more to buy, and the buyers are um, still putting on the brakes right now. What's going to happen in the future? Um, you know, who knows? The feds might might come to their senses now and uh, say what they got exactly what they wanted because interest or the inflation rate was 9.1 in June and in December it came down to 6.5 percent so um, it's it's come down because they they got what they want but they actually will want it down lower so um, right now they've increased interest rates again we're at seven over seven percent um, is it going to go higher it could it could go a little bit higher because they really want inflation under four percent um, so we'll see. Nobody knows for sure what's going to happen in 2023, but I will give you um, my professional prediction. <laughs> um, I'm guessing that housing prices are probably going to come down probably at another 10% this year, 2023. And <clears throat> I think that the interest rates are probably going to stabilize. So that's the good thing. People are going to kind of get used to these higher interest rates. Um, and inventory at this time, I have all kinds of stats, but inventory in Bellingham <clears throat> is increasing. So that is also going to bring in, um, home prices down. And um, But we still don't have a huge supply because Bellingham is in big demand. So um, 
and I think it will always be in big demand, but that, that's the story. That's what I can tell you. So what, 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 if you're a buyer, should you be buying right now? Um, what I can tell you is if you are looking and you're buying at the interest rates that are high right now, um, don't worry if the interest rates come down, you can refinance. And um, if you talk to me, I can set you up with a lender that can refinance for um, basically nothing for low, uh, almost nothing for financing. So that's, keep that in mind um, because some people um, are just, you know, this is the time to buy. So, you know, if you're looking, you might get a good bargain too because the home prices are coming down. Um, I expect by 2024, home prices are probably gonna, you know, they'll be steady or they might go up again. So we'll see, no, but again, nobody knows for sure. But if you're a seller, um, just be realistic and um, be ready to come down and know that prices increased. The last couple of years were crazy. So we're kind of um, coming to a more of a balanced market right now. So you know you're not gonna get the prices that they were getting in, um, in the spring of 2022, um, but you're still, the home prices are still up. So it's still a good time for you to sell. If you think they're going to, you know, they could come down another 10%, you know, that's for you to think about what's the best for you. So anyways, that's it. Hope that you are all staying well and healthy. And if you have any questions, reach out to me or anyone on my team. Okay. Have a great day. Bye.